Let's build the ultimate ZFS NAS using Open Media Vault. First, we need to search for OMV Extras on Google. We're going to find this web page here. We're going to copy this link. We're going to copy it into the SSH with the root user. Now we're going to do a Control Shift R to refresh our session. We're going to go to System, Plugins, search for the kernel plugin. We're going to install that. Now we're going to go back to System and then we're going to go into Kernel. Now we're going to install the latest stable Proxmox kernel, which is the 6.8. I'm going to reboot the system after the kernel install. Now we're going to back to system plugins and we're going to go ahead and install the ZFS plugin. Now we're going to go to storage ZFS. We're going to create our pool. Now we need to create our data set as well. We're going to apply the changes. We're going to shared folders. You're going to go ahead and create data. That's the one I created in this example. And select the one with the data set. And then I'm going to remove data so we can use the root directory. Apply the changes. Now we're going to have to create the user for the SMB. So I'm just going to create a generic or a Robert user. Make sure we give here the users group because that's the group that we're going to give access to our files. Apply the changes. Now we're going to go to services, SMB, settings. We're going to enable the setting. We're going to go to shares. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and click our data. We're going to click save. Apply the changes. Now we're going to go into the IP of Open Media Vault. We're going to use the, the user we created, which in my case was Robert. Now we're going to go ahead and test the permission. So here I create a file. Uh, I don't have permissions, so we, to correct that, we'll go back to Storage, Shared Folders. We click on it, do the access control list, click Recursive, change the users group uh, to Read, Write, Execute. And then you're going to go Save. That's going to apply. Now if you try doing the file again you can see that we can create it we can modify it we can save and delete if you want a more detailed video make sure you click the link in the description